Papi. Yes. José Miguel, José Miguel y Mor, ¿cómo te llamas? Raúl. Vamos. Mierda, tío, me enfoqué, yo creí que era una mujer. Y es Raúl. President um, is using the same language that he knows to provoke violence on January 6th. Um, you know, as a party, we need to be focused on the future. We need to be focused on uh, embracing the Constitution, not embracing insurrection. Uh, and I think it's very important for people to realize that a fundamental part of the Constitution and, and of who we are as Americans is the rule of law. It's the judicial process. Uh, the election wasn't stolen. There was a judicial process in place. If you attack the judicial process and you attack the rule of law, you aren't defending the Constitution. You're at war with the Constitution. You might tell everybody that, but it's not what other Republicans say. Like it or not, you are the Rachel Dolezal of the Republican Party. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, what year is it? It's 2284. Oh my god, uh, the pandemic. Almost over. <laughs> the Brexit? Ongoing. HS2? Not even close. <laughs> Jesus, can I, can I get a drink of, of water, please? Um, negative. The last drop was drunk in the year 2040. Tell us what was water like. Oh my God. Uh, it was amazing. We had a lot of it. Probably didn't look after it as, as well as we, we could have. We, uh, we had water fights. You just chuck it all over each other. <laughs> We used to drink it all the time. We'd turn the tap on and we'd just wait for it to be the perfect temperature. <laughs> and, and then we'd take a, a clean glass and for some reason we'd, we'd rinse it out again. With... <laughs> but you had no idea you were destroying the planet. No, we knew. <laughs> then what did your leaders do to stop Earth from dying? They put a 10p charge on plastic bags. <laughs> Then why did you travel in aeroplanes when you knew the pollution was irreversibly heating up the planet? Oh my god, this is gonna sound bad. Oh Jesus Christ. On us to eliminate the filibuster if you come out and step with us we will be able to stand with you in DC I gave away the lieutenant governor governor in Pennsylvania the only lieutenant governor in the history to do that and let's let's get some stuff done for America who would ever think that I would be the normal, the normal one in the race here, yeah?